Hey guys, CH Daniel here, co-founder of Simple.Inc. Let's see how to create a link in bio website in Notion. So um, I've got this page right here. I'll walk you through what you can do. I'll present you the page, but let's just jump straight into the most important part, which is creating the actual website. So um, we've got a couple of templates here. We'll keep on adding some more and uh, you'll see some updates here, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, these templates right here might look a tiny bit different for the better, I can tell you. Um, I'm gonna start by duplicating a template, which means making a copy out of this Notion page that we've made for you. Uh, if you don't have any idea what that means, you'll see in a second. We'll take that page and turn it into a website. And then what we're gonna do is gonna edit the page because we'll see the changes that we make on the very page in Notion will apply to the live website you have. So um, I'll, let's just pick this one since I've been hovering it for quite some time. So um, Anna's link in by website. Don't worry about Anna's. I'll change it to Daniel or you can change it to whatever your name is. And um, I'll click duplicate. Let's see, I wanna do it here. Simple thing guys, but this is just me. Um, let's leave it like that for now. So what I'll do is this is the maybe important part, click share, share to web, that's it. Click copy here. So you'll need this link right here. Um, I have, not this, I already have a simple.ink account. If you don't, just go to our homepage and this is where I would paste the link right here, but that will trigger me creating a new account. Um, since I already have mine, you will see something. If you go through the website, you will see the exact same thing right here. So I just click Command V. I've pasted my link. Um, if you were, if you would have gone for the main website, you have seen this exact exact page right here. So um, we're starting off of the same ground. Let's see. Where will your website be? I need to choose a subdomain here. Uh, and by the way, if you own a custom domain such as uh, I own, for instance, chdaniel.com. Um, right now, you're gonna start with a .simple.inc free domain. We're giving that for free and you could always stick to it for free. And everybody starts like this. You can add a custom domain later if you have one. If you don't, no problem. Just stick to the to the free plan. It's pretty generous. Mm -hmm. So let's see, chdaniel bio. Let's just say I will use this just in case there's any other chdaniel that wants to pick up ch10.simple.inc and let me make it a bit easier for whatever reason ch10-bio.simple.inc and um, that's it let's see let's launch it so as we speak okay the website is created um, I don't have a I don't want to add a custom domain right now this is outside the scope of this video but we'll probably have a video uh, in fact it will be linked in here in settings domain if you are on a paid plan. If not, as I said, just stick to this free plan. Um, let me just get back to the page because as I said, every change that I make here will be applied to the live website. So first of all, I wanna, actually I don't even wanna call it Daniel, CH Daniel's link in bio. I just wanna say CH Daniel, maybe my bio, mm, something like that. Here are my most important links on social media. Let's let's leave it at that. Thank you for visiting my website. If you have any further questions, make sure you send me an email at, all right, let's say daniel at simple.inc. Um, I will select the, this thing right here. I'm pressing command K or control K if you're on a Windows machine. I don't know which one of these, this one, link. And I will say mail to uh, Daniel at simple at ink. This is of course, if you want to have this specific bit right here, uh, that what happens is when they, when people click that link, it opens up their main mail app or maybe their browser, but in Gmail. So it's a nice thing to have, but of course, maybe you don't even want to have this Power by simple. I think screw that. I'm not promoting anybody for free on my account. So let's see personal website. Um, so Okay, I need to take it slower. I'm using command and the arrows on my keypad. So in this phase, let's just go through all these links and do whatever. So I'm using the, I'm using command shift or control shift uh, to select the whole thing. So this saves me the 
double click since I can do it from my keyboard. Doing command K. Oops, not channel, not channel. All right, Apple isn't helping me on this specific tutorial, but there we go. So I'm linking this. No, I'm not doing that. Link to web page. All right, there we go. I want to link to my Instagram. So very important, you have to select the text right here. Command K, uh, Instagram.com slash CHD Daniel, link to web page. Um, and let's just say I want to make my, I don't want Facebook. Screw Facebook, uninstall Facebook, hashtag. I'm joking, I haven't done that. Um, I don't use Spotify, so I'm deleting that. Pinterest, keeping that personal, I don't post anything there. Dribble, I don't want to link it here. Um, let's let's do this Twitter thing as well. And uh, let's have a look here. So what happened is this is on its own line, whereas these two share uh, the same line. So what happens is I can, so let me take it slow, drag to move select and drop it right here see on the right hand side or on the left hand side if I hover right there what's gonna happen is this blue bar will appear so if I drop it boom there we go now they share the same line but this doesn't so um, I can do this if I want to but I'm doing command Z by the way to go back I don't want to do uh, any of that I want I want Twitter to keep its own line but let me put it right here there we go this looks nice and let's maybe put a double highlight on on twitter i want it to have a blue background and in fact i can change the background of each and every one of them tiktok is black but let's do gray instagram is whatever it's a it's a gradient of colors orange yeah maybe maybe something like that so Actually, I like how this looks like. Personal website and Instagram, now these to become highlighted. Anyway, um, back here. So um, back to uh, Simple at Inc. So I'm on CH Daniel dash bio dot Simple at Inc. Click that. And as you can see, the changes I've made are now live. Just to prove that I'll just Instagram, whatever that means. And in a few seconds, if I keep refreshing this, the changes should be live on on the website. There we go. Took a few seconds there, but that's how it is. So let me delete that because I don't want that. Uh, this is my link in bio. I can link just this, put in my bio on Instagram, on Twitter, on whatever. I could cha make changes here at any point. I can move these things around. And I think this adds in for a very nice effect because um, you don't have to, if you use Notion to organize your life, you won't have to go through this app and then that app and then this second app that connects them all to to make some changes none at all if you don't want to see us aka this page just don't check us out stick to notion and you can make your changes from there now one thing you notice that it says it title free plan so i want to go to site customization site settings and i want to say here title ch daniels link um ch daniels bio and over here, a site description, just in case people search for this on Google or on whatever search engine. Um, this is CH Daniel Daniel's link in bio. Refer to my social profiles in here. Um, this is what will appear if you search. If you search something, and look at all these apps that would have taken you all this time and all that complication or you know, maybe it is your solution, but if you like Notion, probably this will work better for you. This, uh, this right here is what appears if I search and I, this is what is shown right here. So on the off chance that somebody searches for a link in bio on a search engine, this is what they'll see. All right, let me save those. And of course the favicon, which is this, um, can't show you this image that is just like the Notion logo is right here in the bar. This rounded rectangle, which is uh, covered when I hover it, this will be dictated by oops, this right here. So I can upload a file in here. And of course, preview image for social media. This is maybe for Twitter, for Facebook. When people are sharing this link, what kind of image are we showing there? But 
that's it. Domain for if you want to add a custom domain, if you want one of our paid plans and custom code, if you know what you're doing, fine. If not, ignore it. This is just for power users or people who might want to uh, dabble in with the code. But if that isn't your cup of tea, this will be your cup of tea. Free website take took, I mean, it took us 10 minutes and 20 seconds, but that's because I kept blabbering. Um, that's all it took. And the, the most beautiful part is that as time goes by, you keep reaping the benefits of the simplicity, the speed, and uh, the, how should I say this? Headacheless experience. So uh, this is how to create a link in bio. Now, the only, the last step you have to do is link yourself in your bio. Um, I believe you will be able to see how to do that. But um, that's it. Thanks for watching this and uh, let us know what else you want out of your link in bio website. Use the live chat bubble right here, lower right corner, and you can reach us.